you watch in relationship ish and that is on period today we are giving you guys an update on the dk4l cheating allegations with ken walker cheating on diera so let's get right into this update as you guys know, yesterday we did a video on the initial information that was released out to the media, but today a lot more has been brought to light. So we are going to show you guys what we are talking about. So today around approximately 11.05 a.m., Ken Walker posted a statement on his story issuing an apology. Now let's get into what exactly he said in this story apology on Instagram today. So Ken mentioned that one, the social media stories are false. These are all alleged. This is all what he's saying is happening. And he also mentioned that the woman that was in the video was just a fan that he crossed paths with in the lounge they were at. And both him and the woman were in the same area celebrating the same thing with other people. So he is alleging that he does not know this woman. He briefly met her. He briefly was in the same area as her celebrating. He did not mention what they were celebrating. He also alleges that after leaving the lounge, they had a harmless and zero flirting conversation, him and the woman in the video, and that he inappropriately touched her butt after giving her a hug. So that is what Ken is alleging happened, that it was an inappropriate touch to the butt after a hug, and that he does not know this woman other than meeting her in the lounge and saying his goodbyes. He also mentioned that they have not made any contact with each other, they have not shared contact information, and that he had no intentions on speaking to the woman after leaving the lounge, and that he did not flirt with her at any given time in the lounge or outside of the lounge. So like I said, this is what he is stating happened. He admits he was wrong and apologizes for causing Deira pain and embarrassment publicly. And he mentioned that he has been receiving death threats since the news of his inappropriate behavior. So guys, this is what Ken is stating happened. But wait, there is more. Yes, there is more information that we're about to give Lastly, you. Ken said that the story post on Instagram is the only time and way he will be addressing cheating allegations. He will not be going live nor making a YouTube video about it. This is the only statement we will be getting from him concerning the alleged cheating allegations. So... Diera has not addressed the cheating allegations on any platform. We don't know if she plans to do so. And honestly, we got to respect her privacy, guys. But wait, there is more. We have more information for you guys. We have identified the woman in a video with Ken as Morgan Pierce. From her Instagram, we gathered that she is a model slash video vixen. But not only that, Morgan Pierce is married. So they have a three-year-old daughter together who turns four in shortly a month. So the husband did get a wind of all the videos that were speculating and surfacing on the media and he has responded. Yes, he has responded. And basically he just went on live. He also made a story post stating that he is hurt. That is the mother, his child, that is his wife, but he will be filing for divorce. And now he will continue to take care of his daughter, which he said he's been taking care of by himself for the past couple of weeks as he claims that Morgan has not seen her daughter in a couple of weeks. Now, he mentions that he talked to Morgan following the video resurface, surfacing, and Morgan is keeping her innocent. She's making sure to say that nothing happened, but he does not believe her, and he calls her actually a compulsive liar, guys. He says that he also reached out to Diera, and he, you know, just to be respectful, so we have to say he didn't go into much detail about it. We just know that he reached out. We don't know if that was a conversation or not. Guys, just in right in the middle of recording, Morgan posted a statement concerning the cheating allegations on her story. And she tries to make it clear and alleges that there was no prior nor after contact between her and Ken. It was a brief conversation. There was no flirting before, after, in between. She is stating that when he touched her butt, if you watch the video closely enough, she steps back and leans on the car. She says she has not spoken to, her, to Ken since, and she does issue an apology to Diera and Ken, and also has been also makes it clear that she has been receiving death threats and that people have been talking about her capability of being a good mother. Guys, this this story is all over the place. It is a mess. Both Ken and Morgan are maintaining their innocence. But personally, it's, it's not adding up. The whole 
hand on butt thing was just a an appropriate mistake his hand wasn't you know there and was like oh crap what am i doing moving away it was there you know for a couple of seconds you know moving around and rubbing so this if i'm not gonna say that he's lying about just meeting this lady in a lounge that could have happened couldn't could have not happened we were not there we do not know what i will say is that he seems very comfortable in that video rubbing on a woman he just met. So is this a one-time thing for Ken Walker? Has this happened multiple times? Is this how he acts when he goes out without Diera? We do not know. We are just people that are viewing this situation break down. What I will say personally is that I feel for Diera in this time and I will be praying for her. I will be praying for their relationship as a whole. We do not know what's going on behind closed doors if they have spoken, if Diera's upset or not, if she believes what's out in the media is true or false. All we can do is pray for them. Guys, whoever's sending death threats, please. It doesn't need to get to that point. I understand that, we, you know, we all look up to them. But this is not our issue to where we need to be threatening people's lives. You know, he is still a person. Everybody makes mistakes. Please, if you know somebody that's sending out death threats, let them know that's not cool. That's not okay. Now, I know you guys can see... It's just me in this video. I know you guys are probably like, where's Bishop? So when all this news broke, Bishop is at work. But he still wanted me to update you guys on all of this new information that we have. So he may not be here, but he did send his opinion on these updates. And I'm going to read them to you guys. So Bishop messaged me and this is his opinion. He said that he doesn't think that Ken has to explain himself to anyone but Diera. Even though he is a public figure, explaining the situation just adds more fuel to the fire. She is already embarrassed and having people hear his side of the story and how he got into the situation in the first place just makes it worse. Along with the fact that his explanation was just ass and calling it an inappropriate hug is just stupid. It's almost as bad as my excuse in our previous video, if you haven't seen it, go check it out with the initial details, that she stole his keys and put it in her back pocket. Two, threatening people's lives is never okay. Yes, you'd like to see him on YouTube, but you shouldn't wish evil on him. He is still a human being. Three, at this point, he might as well make a video since he already made a post basically addressing the allegations. Lastly, the girl involved, her husband already knows what's up and that's why he says he's getting a divorce. The video just makes this explanation of what they say happened seem like a lie. They went from not talking and her just being a fan to his hand on her ass. The husband potentially keeping a daughter away from the mother is no good, though we do not condone that. So this is what Bishop had to say about the situation. I want to make sure that his opinion was heard. And guys, that is it. That is all. Please keep their family. Keep, please keep this couple. Keep the era as well as Ken in your prayers as they are going through a lot right now. If you have not already tuned into our videos and make sure that you like, comment, subscribe to Relationship Is. We'll see you guys in our next video. Love y'all and peace.